Hello, and welcome to my video on getting the most out of Google Calendar. Um, I'm academic coach Colleen Mootloo, and I have a lot of ground to cover today. So what we're going to look at in this video is calendar viewing options, scheduling meetings, appointments, and study time, creating virtual meetings, accessing virtual meetings that were scheduled by others for you, um, creating tasks, and creating notes. So, as you've heard, there is a lot to cover today. First of all, I'm going to just take you right from the One Bay Path portal and show you how to access Google Calendar. Give this a second. So you go right to your Google Workspace and you can go straight to Google Calendar. I actually already had Google Calendar up. All right, so as you can see, I have, um, I have my calendar. If you saw my other video on syncing um, Google Calendar with other calendars, you'll notice that I have um, different calendars synced here to my um, BayPath um, work calendar. So right now I am viewing the calendar in the week. I just want to make sure you know you, there are different ways of viewing your calendar um, to fit your needs. This is my, my favorite go-to is to look at the week, but there are many options here. You could just look at your day. You can compare your one calendar to another. This is my work calendar on the left and my um, personal calendar on the right. You could view the, the whole month to get a snapshot view. You could look at the year. I have not yet found um, a reason to use this, but it is available. You can look at just everything that's been scheduled for you. And you can also just look at four days. Um, again, I prefer to use the week viewing. Uh, it just helps me see my week in a snapshot. The next thing that I want to look at with you is schedule a meeting, scheduling meetings, appointments, or study time. You can, um, when you have your calendar up, it's easy to see what you have open and available. So it's very easy to schedule an appointment. Say today is November 9th and I need to meet with a friend to study or a professor. I can just click on that a time slot that's open later today um, if, if it's been prearranged that, that we can meet and I can um, and I can set up a meeting with them. I can just I can um, add any name here or I can add guests here. I can um, also add video conferencing. So you have the option of a Google Meet or Zoom meeting. Um, Zoom meetings are very common. Um, and then you would just hit save. And if you select Zoom meeting, it will automatically create a meeting for you. Schedule that meeting for you. If you hit save, you can see that collaboration that I just created here in my work, in my work calendar. Um, and so What's important when you're creating meetings, so this was for a collaboration and it's a Zoom meeting, I, I may not need any time to get to the meeting, but when you are um, creating, I do this with, say, my personal life. So if I have yoga in the evening from 5 to 7, that yoga class is actually from 5.30 to 6.30, and I've scheduled in the half hour travel time on either side that it takes me to get there. This way I make sure I am not... Um, I am not scheduling things too close. I make sure I have plenty of time to get where I need to. So that's important when you're using the calendar. Um, so we just scheduled a meeting and created a virtual meeting. Say you had a virtual meeting that was scheduled for you and you needed, which you needed to access. So you would see it on your calendar. For example, this one here um, for the Spanish learning experience was created by someone else. Um, I can see it on my calendar and I can also use 
this method, just going to the date and um, the meeting slot on my calendar, and I can access that Zoom meeting by clicking here. I find this to be much more effective than digging through my emails to find the Zoom invite. Um, very often when I'm working with students and I work with them over time, sometimes they they try to access a meeting through a prior through a prior um, meeting time because they are using they, they are using the email that they received. Um, so that can add to confusion. If you go to the date and the meeting time, you can pull up the exact Zoom meeting that you should be in, and that will alleviate any of those difficulties. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about, and this is something that I just started um, using recently, is creating tasks. So right here on my calendar, I think you can, if you look at the calendar here on the left, you can see all of the different calendars that I have up and available. Um, I have my, um, my personal calendar. I also have tasks here. I really like this feature. Um, so if I, I just created these actually for the purpose of this video to show you, um, to show you how to use them. Um, this one, they'll come up and you can schedule them right to the day and the time if you need to. Uh, you can, you can access your tasks through your calendar on the right here. See tasks and you can create. So, for example, today on my task, I had um, Google Calendar video, create this, create this video, and that was at one o'clock. So, um, so this will remind me and it will put it on my calendar um, that I need to achieve that task. You can also create tasks that you, that don't have a specific date and time, just as a check-in. I'm someone who loves, um, writing writing lists of things that I need to take care of and it's so satisfying to check them off the list. So for example, this Google Calendar video, I can check it off right now and um, it's completed and it will be taken off of my Google Calendar. I can also um, add a task very easily. So I can just put, um, um, I, can, I can just say set up um, a meeting with, um, like a specific person with Peg. All right. And then I have that in my tasks. I, and then later if I'm, I'm busy working at the end of the day, I want to check my tasks to make sure I did that. I can go back, um, and see if I missed anything during my day or during the week. Um, so that's very effective. It will not show up on my calendar. Um, unless I, when I'm creating that, I um, go in, let me just see if I go back in here, and I put in the date and time. Um, it's only when you put in a particular date and time that you it will pop up on your calendar. So see, I said I wanted to do this at, before I was done with work today at 5 o'clock. All right, and and here it is. It appears right on my calendar. When it's completed, I can just click on it and um, mark it as complete. So this is a handy tool to have right at your disposal when you're in your um, Google Calendar. So that was tasks. Another feature outside of tasks is just notes. So if there is a note that um, or something you want to remember, um, you can just really quickly just take a short little note. It's almost like a post-it note um, about on any topic. And um, you, you can find those features right here to the right of your calendar um, and just click on them and use them. So if you lose that piece of paper or that notebook you've been using to, um, to list everything that you need to take care of, um, you can do it right, right in Google Calendar, 
or in the Google Suite um, and access it and you don't have to worry about losing it. Um, and, and you can actually schedule it right into your week. So um, I think that's everything. So um, I really hope that you are going to be able to use this video to get the most out of Google Calendar. If you have any questions, um, just go ahead and send me an email or comment below. Thank you for watching.